Hi, everyone. I am Marlou. And I wanted to show you this video because I am a Paralympic athlete. And I think that this Nike commercial shows just that. It shows me running and taking on a challenge for all women. And that's exactly how I was raised. My mom raised me, my older sister, and my little brother to be independent human beings. And that was a tough job because I could be one lazy child. I remember we would go to the beach and I would sit by the sea and cry for my mom to pick me up. And now with any other child, you would find that very annoying, but not with me, because apparently for me, going from the sea to my towel was an inspirational journey. My mom never bought that story, and I had an amazing childhood. I had lots of friends, lots of fun, and my mom supported me with everything I wanted to do. So by the time I was 12 years old, <laughs> I got a little chubby. And my mom said, maybe you should try a sport. So I did. I tried basketball, sitting down. And after that, I tried swimming which went quite well, and I noticed that I loved competing and after that winning, and I made it to the national swim team. And I got to compete in some, some big events, but when I turned 18, things had changed, and I didn't enjoy it anymore, and I was 18 years old, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just be a normal student who goes out at night and sleeps till 12 the following day? So I quit swimming. I tried being just a student, and I failed miserably, because after less than half a year, I got a call from the Athletics Federation asking me if I knew Oscar Pistorius, the fastest runner on blades at the time. And they told me that I had the perfect disability for athletics. <laughs> Score. So I didn't really like that, and I thought, shouldn't I at least like the sport first? So I talked to my family about it, and they said, well, Marlou, if you look at it in a positive way, you get the opportunity to try a new sport. And they were right, so I tried it, and I actually really liked the sport. Especially after getting my blades, because now, all of a sudden, when I ran, I actually ran. I felt a sense of speed, not at all like when I used to run for a bus but didn't catch it because I wasn't really running. I enjoyed the sport so much, and the people I was training with were all working towards the Paralympic Games of London 2012. And secretly, those games had always been a dream of mine, even when I was a swimmer. So I decided to go for it. I dropped everything I was doing. I only trained day in, day out. The schedules were brutal, but I loved it, and by 2012, I qualified for the Paralympic Games in the 100 and 200 meters. I ran world records and all of a sudden was candidate for gold. So I remember being in London, standing there in the 100 meter final, being so excited, so excited that I started off in eighth position. So I had to run really fast and I was able to pick up a beautiful silver medal by six hundredths of a second. And I was still so excited because I knew that the 200 meters were still to come. My distance, the distance I worked so hard for. And it succeeded. I won gold. I was the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> Thank you. I was the happiest girl in the world, and when I came home, I got all these amazing offers from TV stations, magazines, conferences. And I loved it, because now I could tell everyone about winning gold with 80,000 people cheering for you. But they wanted to know my story. And just like I had never been selected on my disability, I also never had to explain it. It was always just Marlou. You either liked me or you didn't, but it had nothing to do with my legs. So I tried to explain that I was never different, that I started being different when I started running faster than anyone in the world. Running fast had made me different. And to be honest, I hated those questions. So I decided not to talk about it anymore. Every request I got after gold should be about sport. And I made sure that the inspiring story was me winning gold, not me having a disability, but still 
able to run. <laughs> and it was, sometimes it was difficult, because if you decide not to talk about it anymore, you can be often seen as bittered or arrogant or like you want to hide something. But the thing is, when I was a little girl, I didn't look up to Paralympic athletes or Olympic athletes. I looked up to athletes. And knowing that there are lots of children just like me, I hope that they now see that you can become a Paralympic champion and just talk about being a champion. And it worked, because I signed a very nice agreement with the biggest sports brand in the world, but also with companies like EY, BP, M-Line, and I got on the cover of the Women's Health, and while preparing this talk, I noticed it only shows my top half. <laughs> <laughs> so, after a year of having quite the opinion about being just an athlete, I found myself in a team with only disabled or Paralympic athletes. And I thought, I want to win more gold. And therefore, I need to become a better sprinter. So I searched for a specialized sprint coach and a team that would give me the confidence that I can run faster. Now, by that time, sprinting on blades was quite accepted, so my teammates didn't treat me any differently, just like I was used to when I was little. And I realized this when we had yoga class. And now you have to know that I can be a little rebellious during practice. And we had to do an ankle exercise. Not having ankles can make ankle exercises quite difficult. <laughs> so I thought, well, let's sit this one out. And I looked around a little bit when all of a sudden one of my teammates said, oh, come on, Merlou, participate. <laughs> and we all started laughing and she got a little embarrassed, but I loved it because they see me every day running on blades, not carbon fiber, not normal legs, but carbon fiber stuff. And they still don't think about the things that I can't do because they know that I am not that different. But let's be honest, no one is the same. And for me, it might be a little bit more in your face sometimes, but I don't think it's about being different. I think it's about being authentic, about being the best that you can be, love what you do, and in every situation, even when you have legs, challenge your abilities. That's what sport has taught me. Thank you.